Well, you can only imagine the nerves coursing through that man's body, having not taken a big league mound in one day shy of two years. Noah Syndergaard finally gets to do that tonight for the first time since September of 2019. And he gets Rojas with a high fastball. First batter in two years, and Syndergaard notches a strikeout. Four straight fastballs, and then one up the ladder there. And he gets him with a changeup. So Syndergaard throwing three changeups out of four pitches in that at bat. He strikes out Chisholm. Back to back strikeouts for Noah. De La Cruz cracks one on the ground down to VR at third. The throw has Alonzo moving his feet. He stays on the bag. And Syndergaard works a 1 2 3 inning in his first outing in the big leagues in nearly two years. Trevor Williams comes out of the bullpen for New York. Jesus Sanchez, Lewin Diaz, and Lewis Brinson do up for the Marlins. And Jesus Sanchez got all of that one. Oh, baby. That thing traveled a mile, and it gives the Marlins a one to nothing lead. Well, he just ambushed a fastball. What power, what extension, what a swing. A no-doubter to right over everything. And he did not miss that one. Absolutely squared it up. So that's 11 up and 11 down for Rodgers. And now Baez. And he lines one, base hit. So the Mets have their first base runner of this game. Baez a two out single after Rodgers had retired the first 11. And for Javi Baez now a 12 game hitting streak. Now Pete Alonso will step in. And a ground ball to Miggy at short. He makes the play. Well a hit surrendered by Rodgers but he still has a one to nothing lead. So the tying run in scoring position. First time the Mets have had a runner as far as second base in this game. And he hooks one in the left field for a base hit. The R around third. He's being waved home. Brinson's got a strong arm. His throw is cut off. Oh, oh man. And the tying run comes home. One heck of an at bat by Pilar. Terrific at bat. And you got to let this ball come home. Uh, it was off, it was offline. It would have been it would have been up the, the line. Base line. Yep. The timing of it just looked like there was going to be a play at the plate. Boy, VR can run. And now two are aboard for Alonso. And this one is hit high. Left side foul territory. Eddie Alvarez makes the catch near the tarp, and Alonso pops out for the final out of the inning. Bender works around some trouble and we head to the seventh. Jerry's familiar will pitch the eighth inning. Sierra has oh. got picked off and he does get picked oh off. How about that? God. Sierra took a couple of phantom steps towards second and Familia turned at that point and nails him. A huge first out. One two coming to Rojas. Hit on the ground. Alonso knocks it down. Gets to his knees. Hits Familia. Got the out. Beautifully done. One two coming. Struck him out. Quite an inning for Familia. His first career pickoff. Punctuates it with a strikeout. Welcome back. One one the score as we head to the last of the eighth inning. Dylan Floro is on to pitch. One and two. And Floro gets the strikeout. A big out number one here in the eighth inning. 2 2 coming. And Nimmo rolls one to the right side. Diaz. Oh, boy. Just in time. I don't know if he purposely did that or if it came off his glove and just popped in the air into his bare hand. Yeah, I, I thought it came up, uh, ran up his arm. McNeil at third, Lindor at second. 1 2 pitch is a ground ball. Miggy's got it. Now to a knee. The throw to first is in time, and we play on to the ninth inning. And Diaz lifts one to left, chasing McNeil back. Still going on the track, makes the catch. James McCann trying to get Baez home from third with the winning run. And James dribbles one back to the mound. Baez trying to score. It's fumbled, and the Mets win it. Baez running on contact on a ball back to the mound. Bass couldn't handle it cleanly, and the Mets sweep the doubleheader.